okay dear students today we have this problem a stone is dropped into a well and sound of it striking the water is heard in 4 to upon 9 seconds if the velocity of the sound is 352.8 meter per second find the depth of the well so question is this one so let's uh, right, there is one pond. So, this is pond. And a stone is dropped from this position. So, from this position, a stone is dropped over here. Dropped over here. So, u is equal to 0. So, when you have a certain position, drop its initial velocity will be 0. As you know that. And it is a it is sound of its striking the water is hard in 4 to by 9 seconds. Stone your position but drop garda. Ra yabada math is anda. You do it at time says mazi. Yodachi stone ko time taken by stone. Another one is time taken by sound. So this will be 4 to by 9 seconds. Yo yabada drop garda. Ra math is anda. Aba yam kuni yoda position ma man says havani. To man says le. Khasalat sound time total time is four two by nine seconds. So total time of and if the velocity of the sound is the sound ko velocity is amro use havani. Tethi bala well ko amro depth nikalnu parne cha. So G is provided over here. So we can solve this question by let small t is the time taken by Time taken to reach, time taken by stone, by stone to reach the pond, to reach a pond, and capital T be the be the time taken by sound. I mean, some do it at time go kurasa. It is a mili stone you position or a pond some drop gore over it. Titibella lagna time like small tilly hegaso. Ra yabara strike by secrecy yabara returns and it's on sound. So you position some to sound lami sound will a linear time lami capital T when hegaso. So by question or given so small t plus capital T is equal to four. Oh, whole number 2 upon 9 seconds. So, this is the question. So, if you multiply this one, then this will be 9 for 36. 36 plus 2 means it is 38. So, it will be 38 by 9 seconds. So, this is the total time taken by stone plus time taken by sound. So, so stone is dropped over here. Now, also, since stone is dropped from this position to a pond, that's why we can apply the formula H. No, here is a, uh, we have to find the depth of the well here. So, we can find out, we can suppose it by H also. Let H be the depth of the well. So, well could depth line H manager. So, H is equal to ut plus half gt square. So, this is the formula to find the depth of the well. But if the stone is dropped from this position, its value will be 0. So, write down it will be 0 and 1 upon 2 times. The value of g is also provided. So, write down the value of g. 9.8 times small t square so it is same because we don't know the value of t over here so if you cut down this and this then it will be 4.9 t square so this is the uh, value of h and also if you find out the value also h is equal to height is equal to or Distance covered by body means it is velocity into time. So, velocity into time. It is the distance um, covered by sound. 
so it will be velocity into time so this is the formula of distance is equal to distance is equal to velocity into time velocity into time this is the formula and we can substitute the value of over here so u means velocity velocity of sound is here so it is 352.8 352.8 capital t capital t is unknown so leave it just we can copy this one so 352.8 times capital t but we know that now we can equating this value and this value so write down h is equal to 4.9 t square is equal to 352.8 times capital h so now we can find out the value of capital t from here so value of capital t is equal to 4.9 t square divided by this term if you take this one here 352.8 then we can cut down this and this and then we get so this implies capital t is equal to this one t square divided by this and this if you cut down then it will be 72 so you can solve by using calculator so capital t is equal to t square divided by 72 so in this way we can find out the value of capital t now we can substitute this value of t in this position so here we can substitute this is the given or provided information if you put the value of t over here then we get the small t so let's find out the small t from this equation so we can suppose it uh, for one it is equation one let us suppose this is the equation one and substituting the value of t in this equation now let's find the small value of small t now we can use from equa equation one so here is t plus capital t is equal to 38 by 9 second so find the value substituting the value of t capital t over here t plus capital t means it is t square by 72 so this is the value of capital t which one is just prove that we have we already proved that value capital t capital t ko value par khare ami le prove gareka thiu ya so so t is equal to t square by 72 and this is 38 by 9 so if you take lcm over here now 72 times t it is t and t square is equal to upon 72 is equal to 38 divided by 9 so this is the uh, Tom after taking LCM over here. So if you 9 8 za, so we can cut down this 9 8 za 72 and If you cross multiply then it will be t square plus 72 t and 8 into 31 this one how much? It's called to it's called to 0 8 8 za 64 Now 8 3 za 24 24 and 6 third 304 if you take into this side then it will be minus so we cross multiply we will get this one so if you um, factorize this term then it will be 304 so we have 304 so 215 is 22 is 27 is 14 26 is 12 23 is 6 28 is 219 is so 19 is the prime number so we can 2 to the 4 to the 8 to the 16 16 and 19 it will not be correct so find two numbers 19 to the 38 2 to the 4 to the 8 38 and 8 how much so it is not also correct so if you factorize this 304 then we get this term and here 19 to the 38 38 to the 76 2 to the 4 so it will be 72 if you subtract 4 from 76 then it will be 72 so look at once 72 means this one is 76 t minus 40 so we have two number over here 76 and 4 and after factorizing this one we can write down and 304 is same now we can take out t common from these two terms t plus 76 and here we can take out 4 common 
so it will be 3 plus 76 and we can write down t minus 4 in one bracket and t plus 76 is another bracket so it will be 0 so from this we can get t is equal to 4 or t is equal to minus 76 so minus 76 is rejected it is impossible or not possible because time is never negative so always time is taken as positive so it is rejected and our required time is 4 second so this 4 second is the appropriate time to to be taken by stone stone lay you stone yam ra drop gara yam sama lagne time money go am ro 4 second sa so isko adar ma ami ke nikal na sakso depth of the well nikal na sakso so hence or so h is equal to we have 4.9 t square so we have this result jun result ami le pahile agadi nikali sakyo 4.9 t square so in this equation if you substitute the value of t so appropriate timetable is time taken is 4 that's why it is 4 square and if you solve it then we'll get some results so 4.9 into 16 so 4.9 into 16 means 6 9 are 54 carry over 5 6 is a 6 4 is a 24 24 in 5 29 and 1 9 is a 1 1 4 is a 4 so 4 8 4 2 6 and 1 7 so 78.4 so required answer is 70.4 78.4 meter so total height attained by this stone to the pond is this one 78.4 meter so it is the depth of the well depth of the well according to the question so we have we have already supposed it as as is the depth of the well that's why it is the depth of the well it is 78.4 meter deep deep and where we can throw the stone from certain position and we can find out the this solution okay we have this question now now let's see or let's understand what is the question three particles are simultaneously projected i mean some tinta particles are do you tell a project from the height h1 h2 and s3 above the ground with velocities this this and this u1 u2 and u3 respectively i mean some Halini height or a certain ground butter, different, different, different height, but tinta particle amru project gariosa. Velocity with different velocities, u1, u2, and u3 respectively. And all of them raise the ground at the same instant. You take time to tinta stone or tinta particle or reach gari. So you take same time is t. We can suppose it as t. t time mati in already pugevani. We can prove this. We have to prove this result. Is equal to zero. The amount of nickel now second result to amid jay nickel so could a particular math project gather till the distance covers and taller down my garden only result or lamia miller election or we can if you substitute the value in LHS then it will be zero so we have to prove this one now so now let's solve this equation here so same time according to the question all of them the time taken by all particle to reach the ground at t time so let t be the time taken time taken by three particles to reach the ground to reach the ground so we can suppose for the time taken by three particles at the same time in ground. Every time ground time line is small t lexon. And taking upward direction, taking upward direction as positive. As positive. I mean, you have certain height, but a kune object project garega so. Ratu project garego point but a tall upper distance cover of us have It can be written as like this minus h1 is equal to u1t minus half gt square. So, this is the formula. If the object covers this distance below the point of projection, 
point of projection is the point below the point of projection. The point of projection is the point of projection. The point of projection is the point of projection. So, if you put down the value of this one, so you don't have the value, this one minus h1, you want it minus half gt square. And here minus, similarly minus s2 is equal to u2t minus half uh, gt square. Another value is this one. And minus s3 is equal to what? u3t minus half gt square. So, this is for particle 1, particle 2 and particle 3. Tin order particle bago nale and tin ergo height different or velocity different bago currently. We can write down three equations like this. So, now if you, uh, we can this one remove this minus. This minus we can remove from every equation. So, if you remove this minus from first equation, it won't. It will be minus u1t plus half gt square. It is equation 1. And from this equation, we get if you remove the minus or eliminate minus from here, so it will be like this all sign will be changed and plus 1 by t gt square. It is equation 2. Similarly, this equation becomes. S3 is equal to minus U3T plus half GT square equation 3. So we obtain finally this, these equations from here. Now we can, we have to show the value of H1 minus S2. So in bracket my H1 minus S2, so this minus this. We have to do this one, H1 minus S2 for this equation and we have also h2 minus s3 so we have to subtract this minus this and again we have s3 minus h1 so this minus this so we will do that minus term from these three equations so let's see subtracting so by subtracting our yeah, subtract guys i am the the h1 minus h2 is equal to what 1 minus 2 uh, this one this one tt uh, h1 minus s2 so this minus minus this means u2 minus u1 it will be u2 minus u1 times t t is common over here u minus u the minus plus minus on the plus on the t commonly the u2 positive on u2 minus u1 on the and this minus this same term so it will be cut down it will be cancelled so, and h1 minus h2. Well, similarly, now h2 minus h3 gada ki unza h2 minus h3 gada u minus u gada u3 minus u2 times t. So, this and this again cancelled. And like questions, h3 minus h1 means this minus this gada here ki unza h3 minus h1 is equal to u minus u gada. Minus minus plus ones are using plus ones are so u1 minus u3 u1 minus u3 times t and this minus this again cancelled so finally we get this term now we can substitute all the values of this term in this expression in right left hand side so let's take left hand side of this question so here is u1 times s2 minus s3 plus u2 s3 minus h1 plus u3 h1 minus h2 so let's substitute the value of this term now we have h2 minus s3 u1 is same s2 minus s3 means this term so here is u3 minus u2 times t so time t is a, you can write down here u1 t plus u2 s3 minus h1 means here u1 minus u3 times t plus u3 h1 minus h2 means this one u2 minus u1 t so t is so we can write down t over here now we can multiply all terms now what will happen now look at here u1 u3 
so it will it will be u1 u2 t u1 u2 u1 u2 t and after removing this bracket by multiplying this term again u1 u2 t minus u2 u3 u2 u3 t plus u2 u3 so u2 u3 t minus u1 u3 t so now we can cancel you cancel u1 u3 t u1 u3 t so u1 u2 t u1 u2 t u2 u3 t u2 u2 t so in this way we can find out zero and this is the required result if you look this question then from this equation or for, from this expression we have to find out zero so in this way we can solve it for any three particle which is projected from certain height but the distance covered by this particle is below the point of projection so in this case we can use this type of formula and just solving by removing this minus from from this h1 h2 s3 now we can subtract uh, subtract as uh, looking from the question so h2 minus s3 u term u term patta lagna ko lagi hami minus garna sakchu minus garne ra solve chai garne 1 2 3 yesari minus gardai janda sabai result haru hami lhs ma rakhera result nikalna sakchu now in this section we study about the motion of the body in inclined plane so our topic is motion in inclined plane so this is the topic so we study about any particle which is in motion in inclined plane so uh, let's draw this inclined plane so this is inclined plane so if the body sliding down from this position or body projected upward from this position in inclined plane that means slope then what will be the equation of motion we can study over here so the line or inclined plane makes the angle with the horizontal line is theta so it is theta that means theta is the angle of inclination with this line or horizontal line so here we uh, this one um, from this uh, point so we can find out this one this is 90 minus theta it is perpendicular it is perpendicular to the line so it will be 90 minus theta it is 90 and this is theta means it is of course 90 minus theta so if we have the particle over here then its acceleration will be g sin theta and if the particle is here then its acceleration is g cos theta so we study two types of direction from here g sin theta and g cos theta as you know that if it is right angle triangle from here now we are going to study this one inclined plane body equation of motion by body in inclined plane so as you can see that so under this is under gravity gravity under the towards the earth and it is g sin theta so sin theta means it is perpendicular the this is the product of gravity the gravity or acceleration due to gravity times sine of the inclination so it will be g sin theta and it is a this is if this is a gravity or acceleration due to gravity and this will be cosine of the angle it is the product of cosine of the angle and this is acceleration so in this case if you take base then it will be g cos theta if you take perpendicular then this will be a uh, sine theta so in this way we can resolve into uh, two parts of this acceleration due to gravity so if it is gravity then it's one part is g sine theta so it is the one part of gravity and if we resolve another part then it will be g cos theta so it is based on ba base and it is based on perpendicular so in this way we can resolve into two parts of g or acceleration due to gravity so let's see two parts of this one for a body sliding downwards for a body for sliding downwards edi kunai euta body yo point bata top bata sliding down hudai cha slide hudai cha bhane teti bela hamro under gravity acceleration is always positive 
So in this case, mathi bata tala on the always be taken as positive sign. So in this case, we can find out the this one u plus our g t into one t go t in h six. Our g go to my g sin theta lens. Again, look at my g matter lecture. Our g sin theta lexo, you case my. I'm your position butter, your position must slide down bottom level, my top butter, bottom my rego of a stamma. Downward there could be position, could be particle, move by the gosa, slide by the gosa. We can use this equation of motion. And another motion is Yanra Amruki on to H on to our S on the L on the L means it is the length. This is the length of inclined plane. Inclined plane go length one or a distance one. I'm real to you. You kiss my L linzo. So it is UT plus. Half of a g t square on the or cookies ma of a g good home my kya onsa g sin theta onsa times t square onsa so u t plus half g t square a g good home g sin theta only so in this way we can format the question and another equation is b p square is equal to u square minus u square plus 2 g h onsa h ma ni goya l onsa this is l length of the inclined plane and g means it is g sin theta so in every case we can write down the value of a is g sin theta over here so it is u plus gt previous result just the u plus g sin theta into t your ut plus half gt square into g sin theta into t square and b square is equal to u square plus 2g h on the over h got home l on the or g got home g sin theta on the the sign the cos got home or is my answer to form mazin. So similarly for a body moving upward, moving upwards. अब कुने body जे आमरो यो ground level बड़ा माथी inclined plane मा माथी move गर देशा बनी, यो up 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 जान देशा बनी, माथी higher level मा जान देशा बनी, the formula will be same, u g sin theta into t, formula will be same, but sign will be changed here. Plus code how much just m minus matter. Yeah, no problem. Because when you mathi upward zan deisa, so it is against the gravity. Gravity go opposite ma zan deisa. So all our mathi tere zani case ma we can put minus sign. So all the terms are same, but sign should be negative or opposite than the previous term. So it will be l is equal to u to u t minus half g sine theta into t square. Formula is same, but sign will be changed. Now, b square is equal to u square minus 2g sin theta into L. So, this is the another term, 2g sin theta into L. So, this is the formula. So, in this way, wherever we have h, then put L, the value term L. And wherever we have g, we have to put down uh, g sin theta. So, in this way, we can use or apply the formula of any particle when it is in inclined plane so look at this question a particle slides down a smooth plane so it is inclined plane smooth plane inclined at an angle of 30 degree so it is inclined plane so be careful so it is the motion of the body in inclined plane so it is under this topics so angle is given here 30 degree means it is the value of theta to the horizon or that means horizontal line find the velocity of the particle at the end of 4 seconds 4 second ma particle ko velocity kati cha hamile pata launu parne cha and g is provided here 10 meter per second square so from this information we can write down as so slide down is smooth inclined plane ma hamro slide bhabo cha bhane initial velocity means it is zero starting velocity this is starting from the rest so it is zero and theta is 30 degree so it is also known as angle of inclination theta is 30 angle made by inclined plane with horizontal line so it is theta so also we can draw the figure so this one if the particle is here and it is sliding down from here then it will be zero and the angle made by this inclined plane with horizontal line is theta so it is give also given so it is sliding from upward to downward so after four second 
what is the velocity of that particle time is given so t is equal to 4 so write down t is equal to 4 second and the final velocity of this object is how much we have to find this velocity after 4 seconds so let's write down the formula of v so v is equal to u plus or minus which one because body is sliding downwards downwards so write down plus sign so it is g t unte obvious mati ayo g sin theta I. so it is the formula v is equal to u plus g sin theta into t so this is the formula for the body sliding downwards tala tala aako bela ma g is plus acceleration due to gravity is always positive the mathi gaako bela ma acceleration due to gravity is always negative that's why write down the value of u and the value of g is 10 so it is in the question and sin theta means sin 30 degree and time is 4 so into 4 so it is sin 30 here so write down the value of sin 30 sin 30 means 1 by 2 into 4 sin 30 ko value lekhne ra kaat da hai kya hocha 2 2 jaya so it will be 20 meter per second so this is the final answer obtained by this obtained by using this formula so this is the final velocity of that particle which is starting from here and after t second means after 4 second its velocity will be 20 meter per second so in this way we can solve the problem okay let's see the students let's see this question now so what is given a body is projected up it is moving upward according to the question it is not sliding downward it is up and it is uh, it is based on inclined plane with a velocity of 14.7 meter per second to velocity my math so it is initial velocity and the inclination of the plane to the horizon be 30 degree so this will be the theta angle of inclination or we can write down theta when will be its velocity this one 14.7 velocity bako particle y a project of garda kheri isko velocity 9.8 meter per second una lai kati samay lagcha so at what time it will be its velocity will be this one so we are going to find the time when means time is unknown that's why I write down and z is provided over here so let's see the information all the information over here so u is equal to 14.7 meter per second and theta is 30 degree and final velocity is 9.8 meter per second and small z is equal to 9.8 meter per second square now we have to find the small t when means it is time so time is required here so we can use this formula we know that v is equal to u minus g sin theta into t so the body is projected up against the gravity so the acceleration due to gravity is always negative so write down negative sign and the formula is same as previous question so the value of b is 9.8 value of u is 14.7 and value of z is 9.8 and sin theta means it is sin theta means what 30 degree so it is sin theta and time is unknown so we can write down the value of sin 30 from table trigonometric table so it is 9.8 is equal to 14.7 minus 9.8 into 1 by 2 into t so sin 30 means 1 by 2 and we can cancel 9.8 4.9 so if you solve it then it will be this minus this so what will be here so 14.7 9.8 if you minus from here 9 now 13 9 4 13 4 point 9 it will be minus 4 point 9 is equal to minus 4 point 9 t so 4 point 9 4 point 9 cancel this and this cancel so this is t is equal to 1 so it takes time one second 
when it will be its velocity will be 9.8 meter per second so to become this velocity the particle or body takes one second so this is the required time so write down um, hence um, the velocity of the velocity of a body will be 9.8 meter per second after one second so this is the required condition to become the velocity 9.8 meter per second so in this way we can use this formula v is equal to u minus g sin theta into t according to the provided information so this is the solution of the particle velocity of the body after one second so required time is one second. okay now the turn of this question and question is a particle is sliding from wrist down particle is sliding downward mathi bada tala downward slide bago sa and it is uh, the question related with inclined plane so question is inclined plane over there if its velocity becomes this one it is ko velocity this one after covering a distance of 39.24 meter eti meter le cover gareko cha bhane along the plane ma find the angle of inclination of the plane ra plane ma baneko equation to plane ko angle of inclination kati cha to nikalnu parne cha inclined plane ma kati degree ko angle baneo yadi kunai particle le eti meter distance ra isko velocity eti cha final velocity ra starting velocity rest bata gareko hunale initial velocity will be zero according to the question rest bada down ma move bhako bara rest bhanne bittike zero lekhnu parcha so according to the information we can write down like this so u is equal to 0 meter per second because rest is here kuni euta certain position bata rest position bada downward ma acha bhane u becomes 0 in this case so its velocity v is equal to 19.62 meter per second so this is final velocity so in shortcut we can write down v after covering this distance so covering distance means length in this case we have to write down the l you incline plane na ami l lekhchu so l is the distance covered by that particle find the angle of inclination means it is theta and the g is also provided so it is meter per second square so these are the provided information so with the help of this information we can find out the value of theta information will help but theta nickel no way so which formula is suitable for here so let's see we have so which one is the suitable formula b we have b u l and z just to go like this we can use b square is equal to u square plus 2 g x as good home l unza or g good home g sine theta unza g sine theta unza so it is the formula of b square is equal to u square plus 2 g h well a particle formula 2 g h so h got home l or g got home g sine theta because it is inclined plane here so it is plus because uh, body is sliding downward so at the case of downward we should write down plus sign so write down the value b means 19.6 whole square this is b 19.62 as still we have 19.62 and u square it is 0 and 2 into g means we have the value of 9.81 and sin theta we don't know here sin theta unknown is a so it is sin theta it is this one and l means 39.24 so it is 39.24 multiply multiply this one so we can solve it this question and write down the value of sin theta so this into this into this means what so we should multiply together and here so if we solve it then sin theta is equal to here is so final solution from after this solving is 1 upon 2 and 1 upon 2 is the value of sin 30 1 by 2 sin 30 value 
or we can write sin 30 degree so theta is equal to 30 from comparing sin and sin we get theta is equal to 30 degree so this is the angle of inclination of the plane so inclined plane makes the angle 30 degree with horizontal line in this case so solve it after using calculator we get final answer is 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 means it is the value of sin 30 and it is sin it is sin also so we can compare and theta is the 30 degree so theta is 30 so in this way we can solve it according to the question our question the now we have we are dealing this question the question is a body is projected up an inclined plane so this is the question based on inclined plane so motion under the inclined plane with a velocity of this one so this is projected off with this velocity so this is initial velocity and that means u and the inclination of the plane so it is inclination so angle of inclination is denoted by theta which is given in degree what length of the plane will it cover after 4 seconds so this is time 4 second pachi to body le kati length cover garcha we are going to find this one so length is required here so for this we can find out this one now let's write initial velocity u means 25 meter per second so it is given provided in the question and angle of inclination means it is theta and theta is 30 degree and what length of the plane will it cover after 4 second means t is 4 second and the length is equal to what and g is equal to no it is 10 given so write down 10 meter per second square so these are the provided information given by the question now we know that L is equal to now the suitable formula is based on u theta t and l. There is no b final velocity side. So b wala formula is gonna pay in l wala formula is gonna put you ut minus it is minus because it is projected up your math it project so that's why it is against the gravity. So minus half g and t square, but g could home away kilex sin theta so half g sin theta into t square so this is the formula so substituting all the values in this formula we get the required term l that's why let's put l means it is unknown so u is 25 times t means 4 minus half into g means it is 10 sin theta means sin 30 so write down sin 30 t square means it is 16 4 square means it is 16 so solve it 25 4 is 100 2 5 is this is 5 sin theta means 1 by 2 into 16 so 2 8 is this means 100 minus 8 5 is 40 means what it is 60 so it is distance so write down its unit is meter so it covers 60 meter after 4 seconds according to the information so this formula is suitable on the basis of this data so ut minus half g sin theta into t square so as after substituting all the value in sin theta is equal to 1 by 2 it is tabulated value of sin so solve it then you get the required term so this is the distance covered by this body so in this way we can solve it okay students now look at this question a ball rolling down a smooth slope passes posts on the slope at equal distances the velocities when passing three successive posts are x y and z so we have to prove that this x square y square z square are in ap so this is the question so the ball is rolling down here now we can draw the figure so ball is rolling down from here with velocities this one the velocities are given here so its velocity is u x it is x provided by the question so another post is here in equal distances the distances will be equal this is the post and another distance is this one this is the same distance so its velocity is y its velocity is z 
so body is sliding down in this way from top to bottom so there are three successive posts three noda posts are to three noda post on the out of ball rolling bar was a you equal distance massa is the l dist you l distance massa when you open l distance massa when passing three successive posts are this one so prove that this are the this one x square y square z square are in ap so in this case we can find out so the angle made by this inclined plane with this is theta and l is the distance between two now we can let uh, suppose it as let l be the distance between distance between two post two successive post two successive post and theta be the theta be the angle of inclination angle of inclination so we can suppose it as like this l and theta so l is the distance between two posts this is the distance l and theta is the angle of inclination uh, we can see in the figure now for the post uh, the from figure we can write down the formula like this we have b square is equal to ev square plus 2g sine theta into l so this is the formula so we have u here initial velocity is x final velocity is y for two successive post i mean the amile do it up post mother area इसको इनिशियल वेलोसिटी x हुन्छ यसको फाइनल वेलोसिटी y हुन्छ र यसले कभर गरेको डिस्टेंस l हुन्छ g को भ्यालु हामी g नै लेख्छौ सो इफ यू सब्स्टिट्यूट द भ्यालु दिस वन विल बी दिस विल बी y स्क्वायर एन्ड इनिशियल वेलोसिटी इज x सो इट विल बी x स्क्वायर एन्ड 2g sin थीटा इनटु l सो दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन और इक्वेशन फ्रॉम this one so actual formula is this and velocities are, are given here x y and z respectively so we get this term equation one or we can write down y square minus x square or better to express in this form therefore y square minus x square is equal to 2g sin theta into l so this is equation one and similarly if we find out the uh, velocities from y from this particle to this particle by using the same formula then we get similarly similarly the formula will be same and the equation will be from this particle this post to this post means it is z square minus y square is equal to 2g sin theta into l so it is equation 2 so if same from the same process we can obtain this result and this is also 2g sin theta into l this is also 2g sin theta into l so with comparing equation 1 and 2 this equal to this so we can directly um, obtain from this result from 1 and 2 so by comparing from 1 and 2 we get y square minus x square is equal to z square minus y square so our proof is x square y square z square are in ap so for ap or to become ap this minus this is equal to this minus this that means they are common difference it is common difference and for ap common differences are equal so let's find out y square minus x square this is y square minus x square and this is z square minus y square here is also z square minus y square so this means x y x square y square and z square are in ap which is the suitable expression for ap so common differences between this and this y square minus x square it is here and common differences between this and this means z square minus y square so 
T2, T1, uh, D1 is equal to D2. That means common differences for these two terms and these two terms are equal. So, in this way, if you find or if you apply this formula, this formula from here, we have initial velocity, final velocity for two successive posts. And in this case, if you find out the value, then we obtain this result. And for these two posts, if you again substituting the same value, apply same value, then we get another equation. And now equating or comparing these two equations, we get this one. So our final result is this one, which shows that x square comma y square comma z square are in AP. So in this way, we can solve this question. Okay, we have this problem now. A ball projected of inclined plane. What I inclined plane ma? Amro ball projected project inclined plane. And ball is projected of inclined plane travels first 10 meter in one second. So first 10 meter. I'm going to 10 meter cross variables. You 10 meter some mazain. You 10 meter cross garda. It takes one second. And the next 10 meter. So from this to this. Or 10 second money go 20 meter. It is 20 meter from here. Starting button, yeah, some or go next 10 money go starting button 20 meter. Well, you say next 10 meter in 2 1 by 2 second, that means 5 by 2 seconds. So, so time taken by this particle in next 10 meter in 2 1 by 2 second, how much further will it travel before it comes to rest? You rest ma on one da gadi, ele or ukoti travel gotsa, one rab so de was a question ma. So, we can suppose it as like this let u be the initial velocity velocity of projection velocity of projection velocity of projection and theta be the theta this is theta and theta be the angle of inclination angle of inclination so we can suppose it as like this. U ra theta la amile sari suppose gareo. Aba on equation of motion na amre isto term aun cha. This ka la amile suppose gareo is ma. Projected gare da kheri kune oda certain velocity la amile up gare. Project gare go on cha. This ko velocity ben jannu par cha. So it will be U. So we have. So we have the formula L is equal to. L is equal to Ut minus half Gt square means g sin theta over here g sin theta is a little no parser l is equal to ut minus half g sin theta t square so this is the formula so <coughs> we can find out this distance distance is 10 meter so write down this is distance so l code how much 10 meter back home right u is the projection velocity or initial velocity time is one second so write down one second time so this is time and this is half g we don't know the value of g and sine theta is same and t square means it is one square according to the question so if you solve it then we get two tens at 20 this is the after taking LCM, 2 into U means it is 2U and it is G sin theta. So, it is equation 1. So, this is equation 1 from this relation. And again, L is equal to same formula we have. This L is equal to same formula. But now, this uh, this is a whole distance from this to this position. I have to formula use U distance but U distance some mogul I our U distance but U distance some mogul total length nikalo. So L is equal to 20 now and U into T means it is 1 second plus 5 by 2 seconds means it is uh, total this time 1 plus 5 by 2. So this is total time taken by that particle from here to here. So 1 second also included because total time is taken and it is total distance or ko 10 meter when see pila 10 meter already by seki ko sa or yo 10 meter like that 20 meter by and time is also added and distance is also should be added minus half 
g sin theta t square means again 1 plus 5 by 2 ko whole square. Now we can solve it like this 20 is equal to it is 7 by 2. So 7 u by 2 total ma u 7 by 2 answer 2 1 the 2 plus 5 7 7 into u 7 u by 2 minus this is also 7 by 2 and 49 by 4 now. So write down 49 and here is 4 4 to the 8 and g sin theta. So this is the question. So if you uh, take LCM of this 8, so 8 to the 160, write down directly directly 160. So 2 for the 7 for the 28 u minus and this one 49 g sin theta. So this is equation 2. Now solving this 1 and 2. Now solving equation 1 and 2 we get the value of u and value of sin theta. So value of is obtained from this is 82 by 7 after calculating this one. U term 2u right 28u ma I mean u go value nigal the here 49 say 49 le multiply garni or we can substitute the value of u or g sin theta from here to here we can obtain this one value and sin theta is equal to 24 upon 7 g. So, this is the value of sin theta obtained by 1 and 2. So, finally now, so this is the question, how much far will it travel before it comes to rest? Rest maunu agari further travel kati garsa vanna ko laagi amro 20 the already chandai sa to 20 total distance 20 chandai sa this ma plus x will a further travel garni wa tela plus x lehe raam lehe garda kheri iso garnu saksho b square u equal to u square minus 2 g sin theta u square 2 g h h mani gwa wa yaya l u in sa the formula u allow ni Rayo rest ma last ma rest ma only baguna le final velocity is zero and initial velocity is this one eighty two by seven eighty two by seven goal is square and two g sin theta sin theta also we have the value of sin theta here sin theta go value twenty four by seven g g g cancel and l means it is twenty plus x. 20 plus x this g and this g cancel already and if you solve it then we can find out the value of x so directly we can write down x is equal to 1 upon 84 meter so before coming to rest it can travel 1 upon 84 meter further so in this way the distance traveled by this particle from this point to this point is observing by this formula and same distance, the distance covered by this particle, same particle from starting to ending. That means 10 plus 10, 20 meter is observing by this formula. And after solving this equation and this equation, 1 and 2, we can solve here. And finally, we get the value of u and sine theta like this. And our final velocity will be 0 because it will, it will be rest for final. So, after substituting u and sin theta value, we get the value of x. x be the distance covered by body after 20 meter. So, this is the total distance. 20 meter already it covered the distance plus x distance. It is the further distance which can be moved by this ball. Now, we can see this question now. Now, so that the time of fall down and inclined plane of a given base is least when the inclination is 45 degree so this angle of inclination we are going to show uh, when the base is least so now here the time time of fall down on inclined plane of the given base is least when time is least at that time angle of inclination will be 45 degree this is the question so Let's draw one inclination. Now here, so one particle is here. 
So, time of this particle is sliding down from this point to inclined plane and here u is equal to 0. It is sliding down from this question, from this position. So, angle of inclination is it is theta, it is theta and let us write down this one solution. So, uh, let theta be the, so this is suppose this is let us draw the right angle triangle. This is base, base is denoted by B and it is a length and length is denoted by L. So, let theta be angle of inclination, angle of inclination, angle of inclination with horizontal line this theta and base is base b b and length b length b l so l when equal length is my so b represent base and theta represents angle of inclination so in this case we can write down now we can use um l is equal to so, here is also the time. So, L is equal to ut plus half g sin theta into t square. So, if you find out the value of cos theta or sin theta here from here, then we get the value of something. Base L seven, we can find out the value of cos theta over here. So, find out the cos theta from here so from this in this figure we can find out so from figure cos theta is equal to base by hypotenuse so base is b and hypotenuse is that is length so length is written here for l and here from this we can find out the value of b and b is l cos theta or l cos theta this is the value of b from here so if you find out the again we have l is equal to u t plus half g sin theta into t square then write down the value l means we can find out the from the l right the value of l l go value so therefore l is equal to what b upon cos theta so this value is substituted here l one equal b by cos theta is equal to ut plus half g sin theta into t square so this is the expression by putting the value of l from this triangle from where we can able to the value find the value of l so T is common here u t and but u is 0 here so u is 0 so let's eliminate this value now b cos theta is equal to u means it is 0 so half g sin theta into t square so from here t square is equal to t square is equal to 2 times b so write down 2b divided by to be divided by g sin theta over here so g sin theta into cos theta so this is the value obtained from here and it will be now uh, if you multiply by 2 this into 2 and into 2 then it will be 2 to the 4 times b ma theta tala i mean 2 le multiply garo yes ma so, that 2 sin theta cos theta will be uh, sin 2 theta. Here is sin 2 theta. And from here, we get the value of t. So, t is root under 4b, root under 4b divided by g sin 2 theta. And 4 ko root under 2 is and root under root under b upon g sin 2 theta 
रेस्मा अमिले देखना सकते हों, अमिले बनना सकते हों इस मार्ग में। This sign to theta t will be list. अमिले जो time, this time will be list. अमिले time ले एकदम ही सानो minimum बनाने पर नहीं सा। रामरो यो time को value आगो सा। Time ले minimum बनाने को लायगी यो sign to theta को value maximum बनाने पर सा। So here T will be list, will be list if sine to theta is maximum, sine to theta is maximum and sine to theta will be maximum if theta is, two theta is, sine to theta is one, sine to theta is maximum uh, and sine to theta is maximum is maximum sine to theta is maximum when sine to theta is equal to one. So one means it is sine ninety. So sine to theta means it is sine ninety. Sine ninety means one. So two theta is equal to ninety degree. Therefore theta is equal to forty five degree, which is proved. So in this way we can find out the total time taken which is least for this question 45 degree. So in this way we can find out the 45 degree and so here is a t based on the value of t is based on the value of theta. So theta when you go t go value sine to theta go value man depend garsa because b upon g is the constant value. And if sine to theta is equal to is maximum value, then t will be least. And sine to theta kati bala maximum unsa vane sine to theta idi amro one bhaye vane. Sine ko value maximum vane ko one ho. Ra one uno ko lagi it will be sine ninety uno parsa. Dui tere ko sine quit gari bese two theta is equal to ninety and theta is equal to forty five. So this is the answer. This is our required result. So this result is shown here. So theta is equal to forty five is the correct answer. Or the time uh, which should be least time. So we have this question now. A heavy particle slides down a smooth inclined plane of given height. So one of the inclined plane is here. So given height, one of the height is here. So height, height is denoted by h, and this is the length. Length is denoted by l. So this is l. So, particle slice down from here, slice down from here, and so that time of descent varies at the second. So, time which is calculated from this question is directly proportional to the sec. Second means it is the term of sec. So, it is the full form of sec, second of the inclination of the plane to the vertical. So, if angle of inclination is this theta, which is with this angle is made by inclined plane with vertical height. Vertical height sang up angle line with theta line when you go say vertical when you go a line or your line sang up vertical line sang up angle angle say angle of inclination is this one. So write down we can show this question from here let theta be the angle of inclination angle of inclination to the vertical to the vertical height vertical height sang banai ko angle amro theta ra let height h be the height let height be h and length be l length lai L man ne ra height like h man. This is the from figure cos theta is equal to b by h. Gada kiri b u by h u by. So h by l. It will be h by l. So from this we get the value of l, which is useful to substitute in the next equation of motion. So l means h upon cos theta. L बने को h upon cos l ऐसा गोए cos theta ऐसा आए, so l will be h upon cos theta. 
So now we can use the formula of this one. L is equal to U T minus U T. A maki bada slice down. I see it will be plus U T plus half G sine theta into T square. So this is the formula. And L means H upon cos theta. See it is H upon cos theta. And slide down means it will be zero. So yeah, but a slide down u is equal to zero u is equal to zero here. From here, top but a slide down only the value of u is zero. So half g no, it is g cos theta, not g sin theta. Acceleration due to gravity of this particle is g cos theta here, not g sin theta. So write down g cos theta. So it is g cos theta times t square. So it is g cos theta into t square. So finding out the value of t square from here. So 2 into h, it is 2h and divided by g cos square theta. This cos and this cos means cos square theta. So if you find out the value t over here, then root under 2h upon g, 1 upon cos means it is sec, it is sec. You square out the root under, root under ma cos square theta, bane. cos unza, Ra 1 by cos, bane. sec unza, Ra you term am root 2h by g, square root means square root means like So as you can see that this is t, value of t and since since 2h by g is constant, it is constant term. H ra g vane ko amro yoh height pani constant, acceleration due to gravity pani constant. So if this is constant, then we can say that t is directly proportional to sec theta. So in this way we can prove this result. It, its value depends upon the sec theta. It is constant, never changed, but t depends upon the value of second. So time of descent vane ko journal aye ko time k ma best sa, k ma bhirai zanza, and the k ma directly proportional zanza and the sec ko term samma. Kineki sec mane go abayo sec theta agar da kere inclination ma depend ka cha. Theta go value jati greater hundhe goyo, time tithi bardha yaan cha. Theta go value jati less hundhe goyo, time go value kam hundhe yaan cha. T will be less if theta is less. So, 2s is 2s upon g constant bago ka anali t is directly proportional to sec theta. So, here g cos theta means acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity due to gravity is g cos theta. Yo case ma g cos theta on sa. Yes, g sin ko thao ma amine g cos theta lehe ga chon. Acceleration due to gravity along this one. If the angle based on the vertical height, then it will be g cos theta. Amine cos theta sang na lin chon. Base ra hypotenuse aako ga. Yes, ma cos theta ko thao ma on sa. Yo, yo base yo hypotenuse. Base I put it on the bitiga, I mean your term like g cos theta, like a pound. So sin theta got home, write down g cos theta. So this is the answer. So in this way, we can solve it. From here, we can substitute the value of L, and finally, t will be this one. So its value depends upon the sec theta. And so since it is constant, it will be directly proportional to the sec theta. So in this way, we can solve the, this question according to this one. So we are able to show. The time is directly proportional to the sec theta from this information.